George. Holy shit, George. My God, George, what the hell are you doing? Well, you're in my house. What are you doing here? It's been weeks since anyone has heard anything from you, and I was getting worried. Oh, so you just show up here at two in the morning? I tried calling, but the line was disconnected. Well, I'm sorry. I've just been busy. Busy doing what? I've just been... busy. Come on, you can tell me. What have you been up to? I've just been... focused on work. Work? You're working again? Uh, that's great! I guess. You're working on the project, right? Oh, this is... This is fantastic! The, the board is going to be ecstatic when they hear about this. I can't have them interfering right now. I've got to do this by myself. But we've all invested so much time into this. You can't really do it alone. I can, and I have. George, I'm your friend. We've known each other for years. I know where you're coming from, and I know how you work, but the board doesn't. They, they've been a little nervous for months, and I've been taking the heat, but I don't know how much longer I can hold out. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, just don't, I just don't know any other way to say this. Just tell them. Tell them they can have everything they want. Soon. Okay, George, that's fine. You've been through a lot lately, so I'll see what we can do. But I think you at least owe me a drink. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's such a good idea. Come on! One drink with your best friend isn't going to kill you. Besides, you look like you could use one. So how have you been, Georgie boy? It's been a while. I've been fine. Well, that's good. Well, you see, I wouldn't know because no one has heard from you in forever. <laughs> I've just, uh, just been lost in my work, that's all. Well, anything keeping you busy is a good thing, right? Uh-huh. Listen. Look, I know it's been a rough year and all, but it hasn't been easy on anyone at the lab either. That's so? We all understand why you wanted to be alone after it happened. But they were like family to us. George, I know we can't really feel what you've been feeling. But I just want you to know that we understand. Seriously? Yes. And the guys have hit a roadblock without you. So if you can oh, give me something, there's a lot of a bitch. Just a little something to you. That's the real reason why you came here, isn't it? You manipulative fuck. Abby. 
Always known, knew that about you. I always had your back. She was right. You only care. You only care about the, the work. You don't care about the people you have to step on to get it. You think this is easy, right? You don't get how hard it's been and what I've been through. You don't understand. And I can't get through the day without realizing that I could have worked a little bit faster and I could have saved them. But you just worry about the next paycheck. Shut up, Abby! You're not going anywhere, are you? I'm sorry, George, but I need your work. Fine. I told you that you should have gone. Remember that. my work, Dick. Here it is. Oh my God, George, what have you done? I've been doing what we've always been afraid to do. No, George, please tell me you didn't. Oh, I did, Dick. I did. I've been taking back what's mine. Oh. I am creating something that none of you could ever do. I've taken it further than anyone ever thought possible. Oh! You see? Oh! We spent all those years trying to make non-human tissue look more human. But I realized we just had to meet the subject halfway. This isn't... This isn't... It is, Richard. It's David. The boy is alive. How could you? He was just a kid. That's right, he was just a kid. So don't you think my son deserves a second chance? This thing is not your son. Look at him. He's dead. Dead? Oh, oh no. He's never been more alive. Look at him. It's my David. And now, I'll never lose my David. You're fucking insane. This is over. I'm putting an end to this now! You go ahead and try, dick! No one is ever gonna take him away from me again. He's insane! George, it's gone bad! Meet me at the lab! Hurry!